Once the patient has been medically cleared for diagnostic testing, the patient is seen for a comprehensive assessment by the audiology department. This assessment examines how the inner ear and eye work together as a sensory information gathering or input system. We do a dynamic data inventory and test to assess whether a problem is in the peripheral or central vestibular system or in the central nervous system. Some dizziness conditions are easy to identify via eye movements. The eyes are closely linked to the inner ear by virtue of the muscle and nerve connection. Certain canals in the inner ear are directly linked to the muscles that control eye movement up and down, side to side, and rotationally. Traditionally, visual testing for balance disorders involved a cumbersome process of electrodes attached to the face and slower first-generation computer technologies. Technological advances have allowed for more accurate measurement of eye movements horizontally, vertically, and torsionally. Precise manipulations of body and head movement allow for a better determination of the types of side-to-side -side head movements encountered during daily activities that may be provoking the dizziness symptoms. Traditionally, when testing balance mechanisms, ears are tested individually. New testing procedures allow us to test both ears at the same time and compare strengths and weaknesses against each other. This gives us a better look at whether a vestibular deficit affects a single ear or both ears and the extent of the deficit. Ultimately, this helps to focus the vestibular rehabilitation therapy on problem areas.